everyone. Welcome to JGK Masterclass. Guys, we have already covered some topics of group theory like symmetry elements and operations, point group, reducible and irreducible representations, Mulligan symbol and many more. In today's video, we will be seeing matrices for symmetry operations. To understand it, we will see what is GMT, group multiplication table and Abelian group. This topic is especially on demand. So we will see the detail of matrices and we will solve some problems of MSc chemistry previous year of questions on matrices. The topic is important for CSIR net and gate as well. Continue with the topic. Group multiplication table. So what is that? Basically, this table gives the binary product of any two member of the group. We will see what is group. To understand this GMT, you should have knowledge of point groups, symmetry operations and character table. So if you have knowledge of these three, you can go ahead with the video. Otherwise, I will share the link. You can watch the videos on this topic and go ahead with this particular video. Group multiplication table. So you can see we are talking about here as I have written two members of the group. So the group is here C2V. For this C2V, we find 2N symmetry operations that is N is here 2. So total 4 symmetry operations will be there. That is E, C2, Sigma XZ and Sigma YZ. So 4 operations are there. How to find it? That also we have seen in the previous video. So you can notice this is the GMT which is we call group multiplication table. In this first row and first column we write all the symmetry operations like that only. The rest of the columns you fill by the binary product like C2 into C2 if you do it will give you identity operation E. Similarly C2 into sigma Z XZ will give you the sigma YZ. So basically whatever answer you will get here will be the same symmetry element of the same point group and so like that we fill up this GMT and you can notice here all the diagonal elements are here E identity operation in this particular GMT. We will see what if it is having diagonally E element then what type of group we can call it. For that we have a term called Abelian group. You may have, might have heard about this group. So what is that? A group where all the symmetry elements commute with each other. Commute word is very important here. What is commutative? Like A into B, let's consider A and B are the symmetry operations. So either you multiply A into B or you multiply first B into A, both gives you the same answer C that is another symmetry operation of the same GMT or same group point group. Okay, so what does it mean if you multiply like let's say C2 into sigma XZ or sigma XZ into C2 both give you the same answer let's say here sigma YZ. We will see in detail while solving the problem and also we will call it Abelian group if all the diagonal elements are identity elements. So you can notice here in this all the diagonal elements are identity elements. So the example of Abelian group is C2V point group. So this is the GMT and it is the Abelian group. Now we will see the matrices for the symmetry operations. Why we need to do it? Why? Because to see the effect of all the symmetry operations on the coordinates like x, y, z and we express it this transformation in the form of matrix. So like we know that we are performing certain symmetry operation on the molecule. Let's say first is rotation. So what will be the effect of rotation on these coordinates x, y, z? So in general rotation we represent it by Cn which is usually with respect to the z axis and it is the symmetry or you can say this is the matrix for C and z symmetry operation with respect to x, y, z coordinates. Similarly rho also you can mention here x, y and z. So cos theta sin theta 0 minus sin theta cos theta 0, 0, 0, 1. You can learn this matrix. It is the formula for the all rotational axis with respect to z axis. For example, let's say we are talking about C2 axis or C2 symmetry operation with respect to z axis. So here n is 2. That means theta we have to find out here value of theta. 
that is 360 degree divided by n, n is 2 here. So we got the value of theta is 180 degree. So if you put the 180 degree value here in uh, the matrix like cos 180 degree, sin 180 degree. And if you are familiar of these uh, values, you can write it down here. That is cos 180 is minus 1, sin 180 is 0. And so you can write down the values here. And we got the matrix for C2Z axis here. Similarly, we will see reflection. One thing you have to notice here, since we are performing this operation with respect to Z axis, there will not be any change with respect to this axis. So therefore, we are having here plus 1 for the Z axis here. Now, reflection we can have with respect to three planes. Either it may be XY plane, XZ plane or YZ plane. So if we are performing this reflection with respect to this plane, means there will not be any change on the coordinates with respect to this plane, the other axis there will be changed. So therefore, you can notice here X and Y, we have positive value 1, while with respect to Z axis, we have minus 1. And similarly, you can note it down for X, Z, X and Z axis will be positive, Y will be negative, Y, Z, then Y and Z will be positive, X will be negative. And so you can write down the matrix for the reflection with respect to all three planes. Matrix for inversion, after performing inversion, there will be changes with respect to all axes, x, y, z, and therefore we have all negative here. Matrix for identity element, after performing this operation, there will not be cha any change uh, with respect to x, y, z axis. That means doing nothing to the molecule. And so for the identity element, we will be having all positive diagonal one value. So Inversion and uh, this uh, element, identity element, you can note for inversion it is all minus 1, for identity it is all positive 1. And this is the matrix for all the operations, symmetry operations. And now we are able to solve the previous year of questions for MSc chemistry. So this is a question. Write the matrix operations for the symmetry operations of C2H point group. What they are asking? For C2H point group, they are asking you to write down the matrix notations for all the symmetry operations. So you should be aware of how many symmetry operations and what are the symmetry operations present in C2H. And then you can write the matrix for that. By matrix multiplication, prove that it is an abelian group. Then we have to multiply any of the two matrices and find out whether it is abelian or non-abelian. So now we will solve this. C2H point group. This is the GMT, C2H, that is 2N symmetry operation, means total 4 are there. C2 axis means C2 axis is present, H is there, means sigma H is present, and it has inversion also. So you have total 4 symmetry operations. As I told you, you have to write first line and first column as such, all the symmetry operations, and rest of the 6, this 9 column, we are filling with the binary product. C2 into C2 will always give E. C2 into sigma h will give you the uh, third operation that is i and C2 into i will give you sigma h like that. You can fill the row and column will have all symmetry operations respectively. There is no repetition you can notice in either column or row and uh, we can notice one thing in this GMT that all diagonal elements are E here. So we got the clue because they are asking proof that it is abelian group or not. The example for this is trans trichloroethylene. You can see here from the center that is we are rotating the molecule with respect to this Z axis. And so after two times rotation, you will get the indistinguishable mirror image. And we can say the molecule possesses C2 axis of rotation. Then you have molecular plane that is horizontal plane sigma H with respect to XY plane. And also you have inversion center here from this. If you move one side, it is meeting hydrogen. On the other side, same distance hydrogen. Similarly, from the center, you move from one side chlorine and similar distance on the other side chlorine. So the molecule possesses the inversion also. Now we are going to write down the matrix for each symmetry element present here as the question is like that matrix notation for all the symmetry operations. First is E, identity element. We know all diagonal are positive one. Then C2Z, 
with respect to z this will be positive one the other is two negative one sigma h is x y plane and so z is minus one and inversion we know all are minus one here now the second part is by matrix multiplication prove that it is the abelian group so let's see we are multiplying i matrix with sigma h you can select any two symmetry operation with respect to column and uh, row and then find out so i into sigma h matrix should give you c2 matrix here okay or either you multiply sigma h into i it should give you c2 so you can notice inversion matrix we have here sigma h is also present here if you multiply minus 1 into 1 will give you 1 minus 1 minus 1 into 1 is again minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1 will give you plus 1 so we got here with respect to x y minus 1 and with respect to z it is plus 1 and so we got the matrix for c to z here Similar matrix you will get either you first write down here sigma h and then you write the matrix of i. So i into sigma h or sigma h into i will give you the third operation C2 and so we can say that the symmetry operations or symmetry elements for the above point group commute with each other and so it is the abelian group. You can notice here. So it's very simple once you are familiar of the matrix you can solve any problem related to it just saying is you need to understand the type of plane here and the uh, axis of rotation so you can write easily the matrix and then you can use the multiplication method to find whether it is abelian or non-abelian abelian another hint is in gmt all the diagonal are e next problem by matrix multiplication, find out the equivalent symmetry operations for the following product. So, they are giving you C2 sigma H and C2 I. So, we have to write down the matrix for these operations and then whatever answer you will get, the matrix, you can find out this equivalent symmetry operation. So, first C2 we are performing with respect to Z. So, Z is plus 1 and sigma H is XY plane. So, Z is minus 1. If you multiply the two, you are getting all minus 1 that is inversion operation. So they are asking you find out the equivalent symmetry operation that is I. So C2 sigma H is equal to I here. Similarly, they are asking C2 and I. So I is inversion all minus C2Z is the same with respect to Z is it's positive. If you multiply the two, you are getting here x and y positive and z negative so it is the x y plane that is molecular or horizontal plane so the equivalent symmetry operation is sigma h so c2 i is equal to sigma h and so we have solved this problem and now since you are familiar with matrices or all the symmetry operation you can solve any problem related to matrix i hope you like this video and learned it and felt it is very simple to write down and solve the problems related to matrix and group theory. See you next in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.